Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to a YouTube live stream. I'm super excited today. We're going to try out these opaque watercolors. So we got 12 different colors right here in this pack. That is uh, all the primary colors in some way or another. I'm gonna be using these hair brushes that um, absolutely not my favorite tool to use but I believe that you can letter with anything and everything. So I believe that this is something that you can use and I uh, hope that you guys are excited to be here. So let me know in the chat where you're from, what you're doing um, so we can get started and seeing that people are joining in. Um, I'm having trouble with the live stream sometimes. Or I had some yesterday and this is why we're here. But we're gonna have this fun time where we draw together. So I got already a sketch prepared for this occasion. So here it is, I got my sketchbook that I can use. And um, let's see, check it out over here. So there's a lot of different stuff here and I feel like this is the one here that I got ready for you. You are capable of amazing things. This is the one quote that I want to letter about. So I'm really excited to be using this quote right here in my sketchbook that I drawn out. Like I've tried to draw different variations, but as you can see, there are different variations that just looks a little bit weird um, because it's not fully designed. So if you know that I never usually finish my design. So this is kind of how my sketches actually look like. So pretty excited to see you guys here. And um, I have absolutely no clue how long this will take. Um, what I'm also using here is just plain water. I feel like this is just plain water. And um, you know what? Let's get started. So first up, before we get started, I'm gonna turn on my camera here. So this is the GoPro, there's a launch, and I'm just gonna turn on my phone as well. So setting up the camera video mode over here. So I got a good picture of the whole thing. Boom, we're recording on all cylinders right there. And uh, we're of course streaming it all live. So I'm super excited. Nathaniel is in the chat. Nathaniel, he's gonna be back here tomorrow working. And we got a great video coming out this Friday. So this is really exciting. This Friday we're releasing a how to practice your cursive lettering. So one of my fans that is usually in the chats is Jonathan, Jonathan Jenkins. Um, he asked me, like I, I did some uh, personal coaching with him and he asked me about how do I practice, practice cursive lettering. Now cursive lettering is something that you can learn and we're gonna teach you how to do it, but this is gonna happen on Friday. So pretty epic to see you all here. So let's change up the camera setting, turn this on, boom, I'm here on the side. Let's see if I can move around here. So you guys can still see me uh, talking here and uh, what else could we do? We can also just record this setting. So let's turn this on just to make sure. So recording, boom. We're recording on all cylinders. The live stream setup, everything is being recorded. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna be taking again my sketches here. So it's not this one. It's not the other one, it's this one. You're capable of amazing things. So first up, I'm gonna be using a HB pencil by Stabilo. Um, this is the one that I'm using to draw in the center. See, I'm also seeing like, all right, this is not all the way the center. Um, so just a tiny, almost, you see, almost at the center, not entirely, and drawing down the center line on the side here as well. This is pretty much where the center is. I can use here these brushes pretty well. Let's see if, if I'm really at the center. So almost at the center, this is again, a tiny little bit off center, but here we go. This is pretty much where I want it to be. I'm just gonna grab a eraser here to just make sure that I have the right lines drawn on here and that I can have this really well. So. You can use a ruler if you want to, you don't have to. And what I'm gonna do as well, because you guys have music, I don't. And uh, I just wanna turn on the music in my ears. And uh, guys, if you want to join me drawing, like draw it with me, draw something of your own, use this time to be creative, because that's what I really am about. I want you guys to be creative. And uh, the music's gonna be running in the background. I'm gonna be listening to some relaxing music. And uh, I got a playlist on Spotify, guys. If you want to check it out, you can find the ultimate lettering playlist and uh, you can just go down on chillaxing with those sounds. 
So this is what I'm listening to. And I'm gonna start off here. I can see that the uh, capable, the off is pretty much at the center of it all. And that's what I'm gonna be using here to guide me. Of course, the bigger you make it, the more time it will take. But we got time today, right? This is what we do have, it's time. By the way, if you've been watching my last videos, let me know which one has been your favorite video that you've seen. Nathaniel is taking notes, I hope. Maybe not. Oh wow, Phoebe Durley is a absolute legend. Thank you so, so much for your generous contribution, generous donation. You are absolutely an amazing legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm not sure if this is way too big. I think it is way too big here. I think I've already started sketching way too early. Might have to tweak that a tiny little bit. So capable should actually only be this size. It is quite hot in Switzerland. That's a great question, Benoit. It's a, uh, not even sure how, how hot it is. So right now it's, it's definitely not 17 degrees. It's pretty much 28 degrees. Yeah, must be like 28 degrees outside. Inside it's getting even hotter, just a lot hotter. So here we have seven letters. So I'm just trying to concentrate to get the right amount of letters in. So this shouldn't be all the way in the middle. It should be a little bit out to the left because it's gonna have a 3D effect. So usually what I do is to recreate this the same way exactly around. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find a awesome other type font. So I'm gonna be using Pinterest as a guide here. And I'll see if I can find a cool board. Manage my board. So lettering inspiration, yes, this is what I was after. And, mm, not necessarily what I'm looking for. What I could also do is just go into some other tests, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna round out the A's here. So I'm taking a little bit more time to sketch out the letters because why hurry if you have time? So if you're new to this channel, hey, I would super appreciate it if you take the time to hit the like button, um, hit the like button on the video. You can already see we've got over 51 people in the chat or in the live stream watching over here. And uh, liking the video actually does a couple of things. It actually puts up the ranking, as far as I understand it. Um, and also just shows me your appreciation for what I'm doing, that I'm on the right track, and that also, a follow will also help just to show me that you are interested in more of what I'm doing and that you want to see more videos just like this one. And so if you do not want to see any of this, absolutely fine. Let me know that in the comment, like feedback is super appreciated. I can always deal with feedback. 
And as long as it's, it's a helpful feedback, like constructive criticism, as we like to say the whole thing, um, it's really helpful and can help us create better content for you guys. So the reason why I'm trying to draw the closest possible is because it is quite complicated design here. Um, more complicated than I usually would do it. And so it, it's helpful to just have everything done as best as possible. So here we go, we've got capable written down and I can already start drawing in the three dimensions. Speaking of drawing three dimension and teaching, we are, this is, this is brand new information. So you guys, every time you jump into the live stream, you are going to hear about our newest, latest, most exciting projects that we're working on. So because of the whole pandemic and all the um, the content that we're creating, like the live workshop that we cannot actually do. Um, we are working on creating the lettering bootcamp. Uh, so Procreate Bootcamp, that's, that is the title that we're using. Um, Procreate Bootcamp is so that you guys can learn everything about iPad lettering. Um, and we're doing this live over Zoom this time. And um, we got Anna Laura also in the chat who actually came to our workshop, to our live workshop that we had here. Um, and so this is a way for us to actually get more people involved, um, get more people through the course because we really want to get this course out. We've gotten a lot of requests. And so it's gonna be open for just a limited amount of people. So it's not even gonna be open for everyone. Um, it's not gonna be unlimited amount, but just a few selected people. Um, so if you are interested, we will let you know as soon as we have those dates, you'll f figure that out or find out more about it when you join us or if you follow us on Instagram, you'll get all the information. And on Thursday, actually, I'm gonna be doing a, not a live stream, but a online course with Teachable. So they're hosting a cool workshop and it's gonna be free, free of charge. So you can sign up there as well. We're gonna add the link to the description, um, hopefully as soon as possible. I didn't think of that before, so I'm sorry about that. So you might be wondering why I'm actually, or let's start at the beginning. I do not enjoy brush lettering. This has not been something that I have enjoyed doing. Um, and the reason why is like, I think it started all the way back in school um, when we had to create like these pieces with watercolor and, and brush pens. And I've never felt like I got the same 
control over my brush or my pen the way I do have with a pencil. So with a pencil, like I know exactly where the line's gonna hit. I can really control that really well. Um, it's all a lot easier, but with a brush, it always seems to be the contrary. So I feel like it's all a little bit out of hand, a little bit out of control. And so it actually is quite a good exercise to play around with tools you do not have such good control over, but you do not feel that comfortable with drawing. And it's always good to challenge yourself. Never just accept that you cannot do it. Just really always work on pushing what you can't and cannot do. Um, always good practice. So if I can recommend you to do anything, this is pretty much the best practice I can teach you. And also you have to work with colors. Like, well, I could work with black and white here. Actually, I could work with black and white. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure how much you guys can see here. And this is not even the most interesting part. But, but. I think this should be enough for me to get started to do the rest with the brush. It's actually really, really hot in here. And that's why I'm gonna start drinking a tiny little bit. Just checking on my cameras. Looking good. All right, so I got my watercolors here. And um, this is the part where I'm gonna get a little bit more frustrated and the pen, the brush that I'm gonna be using is, wait, I have six, six brushes. And I feel like the one that I want to be using must be this one here, the small one. All right, let's try that out. Which colors do I want to use? Um, I feel like this brush here is just way too small. I 
use blue. I don't really have options. I'd rather use reds. So I might go for orange. Or did I use this brush? I think I might have used this brush here. I think I used a bigger brush when I did my first piece. Let's see, let's... Let's see, um... There's already a hair that's just... I'm, not, <laughs> I'm seriously not that great with brushes again for that specific reason I do love about using brushes is just the texture is mind-blowing but there's always a hair that just sticks out
pure concentration over here. I'm feeling like I can bear the concentrate, but this is, it is quite relaxing with music. All right, just realizing that I should be actually starting to draw the amazing first and the banner.
think I can do the rest later. So I'm just gonna turn back to the red. I'm just gonna turn off this camera here. It's gonna be relaxing.
All right, this is what's going on right now. So I'm really excited to have this looks. Um, it's always good to take a look, take a look back, appreciate it for a moment to see whether or not we really enjoy it or if we don't. Um, yeah, what did I learn? That's a great question. So let's see. Um, I started off on this top side again. There are a couple of things about composition we could have done better, especially with the colors. Like the colors, I'm not really happy with the uh, banner up here. But this is if you focus on what's not good. And as we know, we should actually always think of the things that we actually do like and do appreciate. But yeah, there are some cool things about the colors where you can do some gradients. So for example, over here, as you can see, um, there are some gradients that I've added up here and some other places. Now I've tried to fill the whole composition here with some dots and some elements. Um, and I'm really happy about that. The probably the next thing that I could have done is like really go into it. Um, I'm not gonna go in too deep as I still wanna keep it. Um, and I already messed up another piece of mine by trying to add too many things at the end. Um, but trying to create like a, a 3D a shadow part. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, but here, um, making these parts darker, exactly like the way I did the capable here. I've tried to increase the contrast or the saturation of these parts a little bit more to, to really strengthen the 3D element. Um, but more or less, I'm happy the way it looks. Really excited to be sharing this piece soon. Um, and yeah, it's my second piece that I did. The other one, I have over on the other desk and I hope that you guys will see it one day or very soon. I'm just gonna turn out this camera over here. Boom, that is done and let's see up here. Still recording, still done. It looks really good. So yeah, let's try to take it off here for a second. As you can see, it's uh, this is what we end up with. Now I can take off this glass right here maybe move the microphone a little bit out of the way and hold this in the camera. And that could be my end screenshot that I would use here. Maybe if I would do a thumbnail, I would go in more like. Is there a way I could hold everything? Let's, let's do a live thumbnail. This could be actually a lot of fun. See if I can actually nail this thumbnail stuff here. Holding this all here together. And then move maybe this away to hold this closer to the camera. And if we got everything together. All right, this should be doing really well for the end thumbnail. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, drawing time. I hope that you guys got creative as well. Um, not that I just was the only one here drawing and creating things. And um, can't wait for Friday when I'm releasing the cursive practice video. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna title it, but it's gonna be up very soon and it's gonna premiere on Friday, 4 p.m. my time. So Swiss time, 4 p.m. So whatever time it is, this stream, like it's about exactly now, like 14 min minutes ago now in on Friday. So today is Tuesday, so you guys gotta wait a couple more days to see this uh, awesome practice video that I made extra for my one of my legends and Patreons, uh, Jonathan Jenkins. I'm not sure even if he's here, but uh, guys, I'm really excited for you to have joined me on the live stream. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video and put a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content, if you found it satisfying to just watch me draw. I'm not even sure if this is something satisfying to do. I found it satisfying because seriously, drawing this with this, and it just takes a lot of time. You can really concentrate on that, focus on something different. It's always good to do that. And 
yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, can't wait to see you on Friday and in the next live stream. See you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.